Testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing. Just got a new mod mic, so check it in two minutes on the stream. Hey, they haven't started yet, have they? No. Okay. I just went and took a shower. Yeah, no worries. Can you hear the fireworks outside? Yep. Got my door open to get some air in. Oh, I mean from my microphone. Oh, no, but I can hear them too. Just from outside. actual in-game uh yes I guess it's not that big of a deal oh they're starting to come, cool yeah, make sure your mic's working in-game this time <laughs> No, it was working, I just forgot to press the button. Alright. I hope my new mic's working in game. Oh, it's a new mic. Because I got my, mod, got my mod mic here. Should be fine. Should be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very meme top kick, oh god. You can change it if you want, I mean. That's fine. It's not like I'm forcing you to stick with that shit. Nah, that's fine. the sound on the stream. It's from outside. Cool. Sounds working on the stream. Cool. You should tell people when you're actually streaming, so... Yeah, I posted to my friends. So, so I behave. Oh, right. No, it's okay. Yeah, stream is live. It's fine. Oh dear. Please check out the mumble. I've sent you a message in Let's the mumble. Look. Let's have a look. Please have a look on <laughs> preferably on stream. Oh, no, I have to set a window. Don't worry about it. Why are you being a goof right now? Like we're waiting in the in the, the in the thing anyway. So you might as well show that on stream. I have to create a source for it. I can't be bothered. I'll set it up later. I'm going to set up my overlays when I get my new computer set up. 
because I have them set up on my other monitor, and then can just like show them on here. Yeah, so you feed you feed through your other monitor into your new computer. I get it. Yeah. You can you can also buy like an uh, like a capture card. Yeah, I could have, but I got a monitor for like thirty seven bucks, so it's all good. And you bought a new computer. Why you could have just gotten the? Yeah, true. Yeah. I was kind of due for a computer upgrade though as well. Like it's kind of a five six year old computer. Okay, bro dogs. Okay. Justification. <laughs> Alright, we're doing the draft. Nah, I'm looking at meme. I'm looking at memes. Can you give me a second? No. Yes. Why do they have four? The fuck? They're just gonna do do the draft thing, gonna do a remake, so it's gonna be fine. This is Captain's draft, this is not in Captain's mode, oh, oh. my god. Uh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay. Failure oh, to fucking launch. Well. <laughs> GG well played, boys. GG well played. <laughs> Um, how do I get out of this now? Just disconnect, I assume? Or well, just wait until they fucking finish or whatever. I don't know. Contact mouse. In retrospect, this is probably not the best site, the best time to stream. You have fireworks in your. It's a mod mic though, so it's like only coming next to my next to my mouth. He says, "Yeah, just DC from the game, so we'll um, accidentally <laughs> reconnected. Yeah, just DC out of the game, and then we'll remake the lobby." Dire team. Yeah, I don't think I can hear you over here. Uh, I think I need to fine. join the channel first, don't I? Nope. I don't? Nope. Oh, true. Yeah, of course not. I might just close that door. Be back. Yeah, now now the uh, now everything's over. Was it worth it leaving your computer? Uh, yeah. No, because firework now fucking stopped. Oh, okay. So everything you do is like meaningless. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anime is for children, please. <laughs> It is Captain Most this time, so yep. we should be okay. This is, this is significantly better than last time.
Look at this. We have we have twelve players in the uh, in the uh, lobby. Whatever. An anime has like wooden computers, but I'm sure <laughs> they managed to uh, join us in time. Closing his garrison mission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an interesting. Did you get? There we are. There's the overlay. Hello and welcome to another episode of the ONS Dota 2 Cup. This is Group A action. Um, Oz Fortress All Stars versus Griffa Got the Clap, also known as Grievers Team. Oz Fortress All Stars are currently 1-0 in the group, having beaten Haystack, and Griffa Got the Clap. Um, unfortunately lost a haystack in a 72 minute game, so you should try and check that one out when we get it uploaded if you haven't seen it so far. Uh, are you hyped? I am very hyped. I am joined by Dai. How are you, Dai? I'm doing alright. I hope you're doing well as well. First band doom. 10 seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doff that hero. Five yeah, I, I don't think he's, he's first band material at the moment, you know, unless, you know, the other team is like, I'm gonna... Uh, unless the other team just going to go brew master first all the time. I don't really see Doom as a first ban hero. Yeah, and it's fair enough they banned the brew, I guess, after Ten the Doom's banned. Panda pretty by itself, a pretty nice pick, but um, Five, definitely six, gives us some more options when the Doom is banned. And yeah, what did we see last time from the Yells Fortune? So from Griffith Got the Clap, obviously they like to take it. Pretty late game. For those who didn't see the game, it was a gyro Rapier with three team. rapiers, so they're they're definitely not scared of the late game. From memory, I think Oz Fortress All Stars was more mid game orientated, but I can't quite remember. Do you have yeah, the last time that they played versus Haystack, their draft was very early to mid game orientated. Remaining. It worked out quite well for them. They sh they shut down five every seconds. every lane and remaining. they just proceeded to push down every tower and push the ancient. So terrible light ban, I guess pretty standard. Um and uh Yeah uh, clap. <laughs> Should we, call, we call him clap? What do we call I'm him? Probably just gonna call him Grievous Team. team. Okay, yeah. Grievous Team. <laughs> ban on the dead prophet, so no push for you, sir. I'm actually interested to see if this is a core lash, because I think some teams these days have more been running a core lash as opposed to a support, so I actually wouldn't be surprised if they were just going with some nice push and maybe put Leshrac in the mid lane, but we'll have to see. But um, yeah, Grievous team just responds with the Tidehunter looking to maybe stop that mid game presence with some nice big ultimates, we'll have to see what they want to pick second. It's like Split Earth, but better. Yeah. You say you got this little tiny radius, well we gotta ravage, just ravage your whole team. Yeah man. Um... Lesh is obviously um, very good support. He's more of a pushing support though. Uh, with his uh, ed edict, diabolic e uh, edict. Yep. Where he can just um, tower just absolutely melt with, uh, with him in lane. But you know, Death Office is banned. So if they were going to go for a lineup, uh, for a pushing lineup, um, maybe the the Razor is still in the pool. The um, Lycan is still in the pool. Yeah, and there's some decent control coming out for these heroes with the Ogre Magi. Tide, Tide Ogre, not supports that are scared to go late. You know, Ogre can get his, Ogre can get his Agonims. Tide can get his Refresher, his Shivers. But um, they they respond with the Omniite. I was Fortress All Stars doing. I like this. Like having played a lot of Tide myself. If you have a look at my Dota buff, the last 20 games or something are mostly Tide. Omni Knight is kind of the bane of my existence right now. Maybe I just don't know how to play around it, but he definitely gives you a hard time when you go in with your big ultimates. So I like this response by um by the Os Fortress All Stars. If they want to su support their mid game push, then this is definitely the hero to do it. Especially if you play sort of kind of a offline ish offline ish Omni Knight, and you can get a really fast bling dagger. Oh, well, not really fast, but you know relatively fast bling dagger. You manage to farm it up. You can just stay behind, um, you know, when Fire the fight's about to start, you repel someone, then you blink in, use your guardian angel, and that's definitely no fun allowed for the other team. Unless the other team go magical damage, then, you know, 
The uh, Guardian Angel does uh, little to no damage, uh, little to no Angel utility. <laughs> yeah, sure you got a repel, but it's just for one hero. Like you might not be able to handle the full Tide Hunter ultimate. So and, uh, and the uh, um, ban out the Spectre and the Viper for Dire. In respond to the Pugna ban for um, Grievous team. So Pugna, very very strong with with his uh, his Q. Yeah. The uh, Nether Blast, just take down tower relatively quickly. You know you can just bottle and you bam every time it's up and tower be down in no time. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of sort of the mid game heroes being banned out from this draft. So might see something like an Omni Knight or even for uh, for for Grievous team with a lot of these more common mid game heroes being banned out. But we'll have to see. Still some options in the pool. Um, yeah, have to, have to still see if this Leshrac is going to be a mid or a carry or a support. If if it's if it's a mid, probably still haven't seen the five position. So there's still some options there for Oz Fortress All Stars. Um, yeah, I, f I feel like we might see some late game, some late some nice late game carry for Grievers got the clap. And there they go, Necrophos. So maybe he might not be the position one, but. He's definitely giving them some strong presence with the with the Agonims uh, Reaper Scythe going into the late game that can just really win you the game. Sort of acts like a Doom in a way, but even better in the late game. So, but they go the Sven for Oz Fortress All Stars. Mm. Thinking there's a Wisp coming, or is this just going to be a? It could be a Wisp. Off? It could be a support Sven as well. Yeah, that's true. Ten seconds. And the stage is a little bit unclear. Uh, well, Sven could be a support when you can get Agonims on Sven. The Gut Strength actually helps your entire team. It gives you pretty decent 80% at max level and 40%, so about half. You know, at, at, level, at level 1. Uh, at level, yeah, level 1 ultimate. It's, it's not a bad ultimate by any, any stretch of the imagination. Sven can also go mid. Sven can actually go save. They have a lot of options with the Sven. Blink Dagger can just help his immobility. Not immobility, but you know, it can help him initiate even area. You know, usually he just have to walk right in. Oh, Ricky. A Ricky for um Ospush All Star responded with a Skyrath Mage for Grievous team. This is interesting. So I I kind of feel that I'm not sure of the matchups, like the 1v1 matchups, but it feels like the Oswald Soul Stars actually have a lot of options in terms of what they want to want to run as a core, what they want to run as a support, and in a way, so do the, the Grievous team. But I think their lanes might be more specified. I think they're still looking for a position one, in my opinion. But I have to see. But you know, we've seen some interesting support Ricky that could be a support Sven like I, I really wouldn't if I was in Grievous shoes I I wouldn't have a proper clue what Oswald Soul Stars want to do with this right now Griever yeah no I mean it's not Griever Ricky is actually not that great of a support I mean he has his smoke screen and he can scout people with his invis but that's about it that doesn't offer you a lot in a, in a later game so um, if you see VG, VG Gaming at the moment, they like to run the Riki in the offlane area played by Ice Ice Ice. That's true. And they, they kind of tailor their lineup all around it, so a lot of stun, a lot of disable, and the Omni Knight to heal too, because the Riki is relatively fragile. Phantom Assassin? We get up pretty... Okay, so the late game carries come out. I like this. I'm not. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure as Fortress All Stars were particularly responding to that PA pick. I think they wanted. They knew they wanted to go for the Medusa there. But yeah, I really like the Medusa here. Just um, maybe you won't let the Tide come in um, if you got your Stone Gaze up. But then he does have a blink. So yeah, I have to look for that in the late game. But PA's got some decent mid game presence, able to jump around with those stifling daggers. So I kind of like it with the synergy with their lineup. And for Grievous got the clap, uh, Gr Griff has got the clap, sorry, um, on the Radiant. We have XE on the Skyraph, Brand 2 on the Necrophos, um, Musk on his Phantom Assassin, Hearty on the Tide, and Griever will be taking up Diogo. That's Akena, by the way. The new Akena for PPA. Nice. Dollar, dollar. <laughs>
And and in the dire, the Osfurters saw star team. We have anime is for children playing the Medusa. I don't necessarily agree with that. <laughs> Novo playing the supportless track. We play. We see him play support. Um, last time around, they play versus Haystack. Euro is going to play this Fen. I can't remember what he played last time. Is he going bottle with this build? <laughs> Uh, it looks like a. You could play like an. Uh, he, that's like like a safe lane ish item allocation for Sven. Medusa is actually going to go mid. And Asize is playing the, uh, the Ricky. Last time we see him play very, very strong mid. Now I think he's gonna go safe lane along with the Omni Knight. And. The battle begins! Be interesting to see. Uh, yeah, Bonobo is just gonna stick with uh, with the uh, Omni Knight bottom. Yeah, and we see a little bit of a contest at both runes. Tide, um, yeah, Tide, Tide just getting harassed down a little bit at top rune and just having a little look at each other at bottom. But there's not going to be any serious engage. We see Tide going into the off lane for for Grievous team. Um, it looks to be a farming Necrophos in a tri lane down bottom. And yeah, we're gonna see this some um, PA in mid with the with the poor man's shield and just double tangos. So should be okay against the Spedusa. Should be an advantage there. I think not. This Top. is gonna be hard for uh, for Euro to farm on his fan. Yeah, he's forced back pretty far here. Like it's just a tri lane. He's getting harassed out. Well, he's not gonna be able to get too much in here, he'll just get harassed out, so... We, st we do see a rotation by Lashrac coming in to try and gank the PA in mid. Um, looks like he's playing pretty safe near his tower, so... Might be okay. Trying to get a split earth though, but um... Oh, he oh, uses wow. Stifling Dagger, he might, he might be in some trouble here, but um... No, I think he's gonna be okay. He just sees Lashrac and... Looks like there won't be any fight there. That's a very aggressive move there from the PA. Unfortunately, the Lashrac kind of didn't anticipate him to stifling and jumped in onto the Medusa. The well, at top, at, to, at top, still gonna be pretty well for uh, the Riki and the Omni Knight. You can do the invisible heal bomb, which is really, really hard to deal with. This Tide is manning up on this Omni, but oh, the Lashrac has rotated, and this should be first blood. Split Earth just comes in and. That's it. Looks like there might be a little bit of um. Oh, Sven's just trying to take Skyraf's stack down in the bottom as well. Oh, not stack, just try and clear out these mobgoblins, but he will be forced back off. There's a double damage bottom, so maybe there might be a contest for that. Looks like they might better wrap around on um on this Sven, but no, just getting some harassment off. At this stage, they, they can just um. If they want to give the Sven some farm, they can rotate the Sven up top, and the rest of the squad can just go bottom. Um, at the moment, there's no um, wards, no uh, sentry wards for uh, Radiant. Double damage. Actually, no, no, no mind that the Scarf Mage does have two in his in his inventory. So I guess in case a Ricky rotate down. Actually, going going to mid. See if he can gank this Medusa. Mm, yeah, maybe. I better get a rotation in. Pairs farming very well. Fifteen and seven versus the yeah. uh, twelve and two for Medusa. Well, they go they go in with a contested shot, and they're gonna slow this Medusa down, trying to force her back. Well, trying to keep her around, but he's dead. He's, no he's dead. Yeah, no TP's in and. Medusa goes down, so that does, the kill does go to the Skyraft though, not the PA, but the PA is 16 and 7, as he says, so looking very nice in that farm compared to just the 13 and 2 of Medusa. Um, tied. He's gonna give Skyraft just boots, so he, so he can just uh, go and chase yeah. people around with his arcane boss and concussive shot. He's got 900 gold, he's having a great time. He's rotating top, maybe just try and help this Tide out. Might better get a kill on the Sushrak, maybe, or... Oh, yeah, the like Omni heals there. On there. Yeah, should be okay. I want no part of that. He has got a smoke screen off, but just harassing the tide out. PA? 
It's just gonna find oh finds a regen rune. That's nice considering he's all out of mana at the moment, so we'll be able to stay in this lane. That's exact. But Earth doesn't land, and Tide going in, he got baited there a bit by the the Omni heal. It's very deceptive, so he's going to go down, even with the Scarf there. Um, two deaths to his name now as well, so not having the best game, not the best start at least. Does TB back though. Ospertus All-Star is doing very well for himself up top. Almost making up for the discrepancy between, you know, uh, between the, the mid lane. They might better kill Sky here, but he does get our 9 HP, Ricky he just couldn't get the damage in. Tide is just... still have a south, by the way. Like he, He's not out of regen, by any mean. Yeah. Just back up, reset, re-engage once again. PA going in on the Medusa mid, but... Okay, he's just gonna back off. Um, Medusa is out of mana, though, so... Shield not being too effective at the moment. It's actually quite hard for uh, for the PA here, like she, she's gonna have to keep spamming uh, Stifling Dagger and hope that Medusa doesn't buy like a bottle or something. Medusa very, playing very defensive, 2 points in mana shield, 2 in Mr. Snake. Let's have a look at Pink. the f yeah. have a look at the farm, so looks like this Necrofuss probably just going for the mech has picked up the headdress. Um, PA just stout shield bottle, ring and bassy, so still looking towards his first item. Going on tied up top though, do get the smoke screen down and just gonna harass him back. The track's getting a bit low and tied tide will be fine here. He's forced to pop himself, so he's now out of region again. Yeah, the the problem with uh, with that is that you have if you have to keep buying south just to stay in lane, it, like it's gonna take you ages to to be able to afford a blink dagger. TP in mid um, by Lashrac just to defend this Medusa, but does go down with the Scarif rotating in. I don't think he saw the Scarif there, so... Does go down. Um, let's have a look at the kills. Yeah, two kills to the Scarif. He's had some nice rotations so far. Hasn't really used smokes that we've seen. Um, just like being in the right position at the right time. And they're gonna go on this Sven down. That was a nice burst. The Sven doesn't have anything else than like two, two branches and boots. Like, he's pretty poor at the moment. Having been locked out in this offlane, a little bit underestimating the vision that Gradient has there. And just get critted down by the PA. Nine. And he's right. He's basically shut oh, out, shut, shut down. Beast. He can't really contest with the uh, the tri lane from from bottom. Even after you know the uh, one of them, the the, uh, the Scarlet left. Yeah. Ricky's finding decent farms. The top farmer on his team, but. You know, he's still behind the PA and the Necro, so not quite good enough at this point. Necro's going, getting gone on bottom by this by this trio. Uh, tries to be a response there by the Scarf. They are going to TP in um, this Fant PA, so maybe looking for the chase for the Stifling Ego, but it looks like um, Osfortress All Stars are going to wisely back off. PA rotating bottom to farm. PA's got an this room. If they want to to keep pushing this tower, it's gonna be really hard for us for just to start a contest. They don't really have any, you know, scary ultimate that they can throw out to stop them pushing towers. Yeah. Medusa is just going to um, heal up, so she can probably return if uh, us for just all start overcommit. But you know, the Sven's not gonna be able to do anything. Anything here. Yeah. And Necro does have his six, so gotta be a bit scared of that. Sky's still not quite at his six. If we look at the um the Osfortress All Star supports, we see Lashrac, not quite at his six yet, but obviously not that six dependent. And Omni getting very close to this Guardian Angel. So I think they'll I think he'll have Guardian Angel for the next fight. Um Osfortress All Star's writing some people bottom, but Medusa's getting gone on here. Nice split earth to slow down this PA, but Medusa's gonna just get Scar- Oh, Reaper Scythe, but doesn't go down. Really nice stone gaze onto this Scarf, and we'll get out there. Looks to be a fight. Guardian Angel is popped, and quite a big turnaround by Old Fortress All-Stars. They're chasing down this, this Griever team, and they might be able to kill the PA here. Can, can he buy- 
Can she buy a TP? Hasn't bought a TP yet, but we'll just get a stifling dagger off and will be okay is surprisingly nice jukes by Musk there. And looks to just be a one for one trade. If we just look at the golden experience, yeah, it's pretty even, like not um couple of, quite a few spells we use, but not much in it there. Up top just um Tidehunter just manning up on this fen. Maybe it does have his ultimate, so he's gonna be fine, but just getting some experience. And yeah, Stone Gaze popped. Pretty nice effect there, like, just bailed him out of his life. Yeah, that's not necessarily like the best Stone Gaze. It was so close. You could argue that, you know, just a little bit more and, and, and the Medusa would went down. With that same... Uh, Sven is so poor at the moment. He's basically playing... He's position 5 Sven at the moment. Yeah, he's got five last hits, like he's looking pretty bad here. It kills to yeah. his name evil. Sven is not necessarily like the best hero with without without items. Necro's about to be gone on bottom. He does jump in. Gets the smoke screw smoke screen off and this should be a dead necro. My flesh vitiates. Well played. Griever's a long defender at the moment. Yeah. Shortly joined by the uh, the Sky Wrath. I don't think it's in the best interest to defend here without their hard hitters. You know, with without you know, the tie ultimate and the uh, the PA. Tie actually does not. Uh, tie yeah, tie actually have a uh, town portal in case Osprey just lost out over Oh, he has a TP. Tie has a TP, but um, but. Does... have we seen a Ravage yet in this game? I haven't seen a Ravage yet. No, I feel like he needs to be here. Looks like there's going to be a fight bottom very soon, so I'd be expecting him to TP bottom soon. Ricky just looking for a nice initiation if his, um, if his supports are able to get something off. Necro's looking for Reaper Scythe maybe. Ogre also has his... oh he doesn't quite have his 6. Nice Stone Gaze, forcing this Necro back. Necro will die. Next just popped by the looks of it and jumping onto this ogre. This oh ni nice tide tide ult. Um we'll just slow the ostrich source stars down, but the guardian angel comes out and it looks like Grievous team are just gonna get mopped up here. Sky is looking to go down, just right clicks from the Medusa, chasing down the PA. PA tries to jump in, does get a nice kill on the track. But He's okay for the moment. He might get another kill on this Omni if he's if he plays his cards right. We'll go down though. Um, oh, he kills the Omni. Big plays by Musk. Really big plays. And Reaper's life popped. Nearly killing this fan. He's gonna just deny himself, I think. Maybe? No, he should be okay. Just 27 HP, but we'll get out. They are trying to chase down this Medusa, but I think she's gonna be okay. Medusa should be okay, but Elba's here. Yeah. Hope we can get a quiet recap for that when it's um, if we didn't get one already. Just constant fight. Essentially a team fight, uh, a a, a team wipe there from uh, a Grievous team. Blink Medusa. Oh, nice Skyraph ultimate onto the Ricky, but this really puzzles me. Like Blink Medusa looking for some nice big scone gazes, but. She's the position one on this team, if you think about it, like... I'm not really sure I agree with this, but we'll see how it works out. I know he's had some nice stone gazes so far, so maybe this will help with the initiation. I guess you have a, you have a Sven, which has a nice stun, but Omni doesn't Sven really... Sven is very poor at the moment. The yeah. Shrek, well, you see a less rat, you're just gonna run away, no problem. <clears throat> Omni Knight, you know, can't really initiate, so I guess it's up to the Medusa. Medusa very tanky. Oh, that went down there. And, uh, shortly after the necro is gonna go down as well. No, oh man, that's that is essentially two team wipe there. <laughs> that's just non-stop fighting. If we have a look at the XP and gold graphs, XP was dipping up into um into Grievous fashion, I mean, into Grievous favor for a little bit there, but um has dipped down again with those two kills. And then it worth similar similar idea. Now just down to 1k advantage to the Ultra Fortress All Stars. And um, Stone Gaze popped there with the uh, Blink Dagger, so paying off. But we'll have to see if it pays off in the long run. I would, I kind of expect this Medusa to have to get pretty fat, but we'll see how they want to take this. You can actually uh, initiate with the Span Stun. 
Yeah, on 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 a hero, and then your Medusa blink behind that hero, and uh, stone gaze. So if the whoever she's trying to go on is trying to run back to his people, don't get destroyed by the stone gaze. He can get stoned, and uh, if he try to run the other way, then oh he. There are four heroes to greet him, so it's actually not that bad. Although, the, the, you know, Bonobo has to help out with his stun, Dyer's and Sven new has new to actually um, they have some pretty good storm hammers. Yeah, Ogre does have his six for this fight, so we'll see some multicasts hopefully from him. Sven is looking for initiation, does get daggered though, so they see him. They're gonna try and back off here. Just they're just sitting under a ward, like they know what's happening. But they're going on Medusa. Does get does get a nice ult off by this guy, but just the, the healing from the Omni is too much. Tide does pop the ult, so this delays them for a bit. But they have already lost the Yogo. They're also gonna lose the Tide. And just this heal is doing so much work from the Omni. Necro's manning up, trying to pick off the Omni, and he will. But um, Sven just in the fight goes down. Uh, they're chasing out. They might kill. They look like they're going to also kill the Medusa here. So, looking to be a four for two fight. Does get the silence off, and yep, that's it. So, looking for the collateral maybe for Grief has got. Griff has got the clap. Um, we do just we do just have Ricky pushing top. Um, he wasn't there for that fight, but I'm can't. Yeah, they're looking. Griff has got the clap. Just looking to take this tower, get that get that gold advantage. And if we have a look at the fight, oh. Just missing the fight recap, that makes me very Would sad. Would have been huge if, uh, if Ricky was, was fighting bottom as well. The, the tower went in very, very early. He, he got... Last time he worked, he got like a 3 hero ravage. This time, like a 4 hero ravage. Well, you know, I, I would say it's not really at an opportune time. Sven comes in with the with the stun. Hits nice. Hits, hits a nice stun on 2. Uh, they look like they're going to be a little bit of a trade. Griff, Griff is trying to black back off here, but they might get the ogre. Um... Griff is quite low, but... Okay, so they will get the Yogo. They're looking for more. They put a song on the PA. He does have a Basher, so he might be able to turn, but he's just going to Stifling Dagger out. They're trying to run away. They ha the tower's still here, so they do have some safety. Ricky's going in. Smoke Strain has been popped. Diving behind the tower. There's there's going to be a port in, though, by the Tide Hunter. so he's looking... Okay, he doesn't have ult for 60 seconds, so there's not going to be any Tide Hunter ult. And... Probably just a... Relatively even fight, considering the rotations though, that's a lot of TPs being traded. It's just constant fighting by no, bottom, Ricky's what's going there. on? Ricky's diving, Ricky's diving deep. Yeah, it just forces him back to tower range, it's just so big. It's a nice player there by the Tai Hana. See you in uh, a month, Ricky. <laughs> and, uh, that, the Reaper Scythe ticked him, right? He can't buy back, not if he wanted to, he probably won't though. Seconds, yeah, looks he like they actually go for a school basher, so they want to fight now. They don't want to do the battle fury and all that stuff, yeah. Maybe they haven't seen the blink Medusa. I, I don't, I don't think you should be too scared. Oh, but there's gonna be a fight. PA just goes in, but tr is forced off the fight by the stone gaze. Um, Guardian Angel comes out, so big ultimate there. Tide doesn't have mana for his ravage. This is a big blunder. And um, looks like Griff is also just gonna lose the ra uh, Logo for this. I really think they thought they had. Uh, tight ultimate there to just bail him out, but didn't have the mana, so... Um, two for one fight, f oh, just two for zero actually, just for uh, all sorts of all stars. 500 gold swing, free um, 2.5k experience going to them, so... Looking good. We'll have the tight ultimate for the next fight though, but looks like all sorts of all stars are just going to see to the bottom tower. No one's really farming any other sides of the map, it's just going to be constant fighting so far, 5v5 just at this bottom. So that's well, the weird Omni Guardian Angel, but I guess it works. Wait, Ready what? What is this? Um, he, he, the Omni popped the Guardian Angel during that last fight in their tower. Which yeah, I thought it was really strange. I guess there was like no physical damage. That's like threatening the team. T TP's in by Griff has got the clap. Nice two man stun again by a band by this spam. Nero just doing work, but we'll go down. Tide's, Tide has popped his ultimate, so. They're just chasing down. Bonobo gets altered by the Reaper Scythe, so 60 seconds on him. They're just going to be able to push this tower for free. Free, free still down for all the Soul Stars, and they might look for a tier two actually. With um, it's essentially going to be a 4v5. It's an, it's a true 4v5 without the buyback available on the track. So 
I really think they can pressure this, but no tight ult. No um no Skyraph ult for 30 seconds. Ogre still obviously has his stuns. And uh, no Necro ult for 60 seconds. So there's going to be a, a glyph. They're just going to stall this out. Maybe they think they can defend this, but not trading farm anywhere for Oz Fortress All Stars. Looks like they're just going to go in. Stone Gaze is up for this Medusa, so maybe looking to open the fight with a, st with a Blink Stone Gaze. But this tower bottom is such a trap, dude. It's gone. Glyph for it, but no defense. This tower down there. Such a dead trap. I was pushing so I just trying to push down, but they ended up throwing more bodies than the actual tower was worth. Yeah. Just 3k advantage to the Oz um, to uh, to Griff has got the clap as well. Very back and forth game. Rick is going for his defusal, so looking to counter up against that Omni Knight. PA just building towards um probably looks to be a BKB, just having picked up the Ogre Club. We have a look, yeah, if we have a look at Medusa, hasn't decided on the next item yet. Probably gonna be the Scardi? We'll have to see what she wants to go for. God's um, God's strength popped. Looking to go on this Necro, but uh, Griff's team just backed off a bit. Scarf and Tide are just in the river here. Tide Tide blinks up though. No all for 40 seconds, but able to burst down the track. It is just a support though, so we'll get forced back. Ricky's trying to chase him out. Still has his smoke screen and defusal. But um, it wouldn't be so bad for the Medusa to go for farming item at the moment because. Oh, oh. He had to catch up. Ricky just gets destroyed, just jumps in with the tide, silenced by the sky, and he's dead. And they're looking at the, getting the a... The biggest benefit, beneficiary for these, for these skirmishes is definitely the PA. The PA is scarily fun. Yeah, she's like... 10k item versus a, the uh, 7k of, of the Medusa, yeah. the highest Middle next farmer. This Ricky's just fallen off a lot. Sure he has a defusal, but... He might just be going for utility, but they really need to dig this Medusa to do a lot for their team. They just get the tier 1 tower, looking to take a tier 2. And they're just taking all of um, all of Oswald for Soul Star's tower. Griff, is, Griff has really impressed me. I thought they were highly the underdog coming into this game, but they're doing some decent damage before Medusa can really get her items, so... Maybe the blink on the Medusa not really paying off looks to will be Ascardi, but um, have to see if it's early enough. We have a look at the gold, and it's up to 7.5k. In the advantage of Griffith got the clap, just um those tower gold was coming in. Oh, tide tide all pops. Decision there for the for the tide. Yeah. This, I don't think that's worth it. He he ravages to stop the Medusa from blinking out, but yeah. Free. Uh, now they know that ravages is down. They can yeah. try to be a little bit more aggressive. Five four TP's in by um Oz Fortress All Stars, and they just want to fight. Uh, oh Ricky's in, Ni okay, really nice Omni heal there. Guardian Angel is popped, and just big, big smoke screen is taking him out. Uh, Griff has got the clap just melting here to all the damage, and looks like they might be able to get a full five man wipe. That's a five for zero wipe. Really nice play by Earl's Fortress All Stars, and they're gonna get some towers here. We have they, they, they stuck around that long. Yeah, uh, like Tidehold is down, you'd think you want to not really fight that, but... Maybe they Probably thought... Overestim like overestimating the damage output of the, uh, of the PA and the, uh, the Skyrim Mage. Yeah. Now, fr from that, you know, um, Osfortress Oth Ostar can just push back. The creep is already taking down the bottom tower. The mid tower is actually taken out, so that's a huge fight there for Osfortress Ostar. Griffa looking for a stun. Oh, sorry, Griva looking for a stun. Can't quite Griffa. find it. Griffa. <laughs> the Medusa go for the ultimate orb. It could be a Lincoln Sphere. It wouldn't be a bad game for a Lincoln Sphere. You can, you can cancel the uh, Reaper sight. You can just take you know, one stun or whatever and then just reset. Put on a teammate. Or that could be straight Scotty. I think he need, they need damage at the moment. You know, like when Ty yeah. ultimate is up, it's actually so scary to fight into them. It's actually going to cool down in around 30 seconds. We see Omni, about 400 gold off his mech, so that'll just assist him in some of these team fights. Oh, sorry. Ogre Magi goes down. Just yeah, uh, Ricky just smokes green. Saw Reavers, a little bit overextended. 
just smoke screen him and just blink strike him till he, till he dies. The team try to help him, but not really. You, you can't really run away from a Ricky or a PA <laughs> in this game. Yeah. This is interesting. So, Ag's nearly up on this fan. What does an Ag's gold strength give you? I Bonobo. Oh, Bonobo. 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 Oh, stifling the egg a bit. No, this fan just scares him off. Yeah, what does um, what does an Ag's God Strength like do for you? I haven't quite seen it before. It gives your teammate God Strength as well, but it's only like so. God Strength give you say at the max level 200% bonus damage, right? Yep. So if you have 100 damage, it's gonna get you 200. But you know, w with the uh, with the um, it gives 80% damage, extra damage to your to your friends as well, to your teammates. Okay. Like an AOE. It's actually not bad. It's not ideal either because they they, they plan to have your you know, more damage dealing capabilities. I'm sure. Mm. As as it get later and later on, it's going to be harder and harder to Ricky for to to stay in a fight, to stay visible for too long. Yep. And Medusa is. She doesn't have the damage yet. Medusa, what are you gonna get? No, she's just gonna TP. Just teasing it. So, the Swarf Swarf Stars just... Okay, they are gonna back off. Um, PA does have a... Does have a BKB. Um, BKB Basher looking towards the next item with the more Mask. Um, Brand new BKB, 10 seconds still. Yeah, 10 seconds. Hasn't used it yet, so... It's gonna be big in the next fight, but yeah, I agree. Ooh, top, yes. They wanna push this tower down. They're gonna push this tower. Almost caught down the, the Omni Knight there. But I guess uh, Scott Mage wasn't in range for his uh, concussive shots. It's gonna be a free tower. Freebie. Yeah. The Ricky, the Ricky pick isn't actually bad because... Um, they're forcing the supports of Griffer. Got the clap to buy so much centuries. They can, one of them can eventually afford a gem, and that could solve some of the problems. But and um, see, Ricky, it's, it's really annoying, dude. Yeah, it's like you're just investing so much gold in it. There is uh, the dust on the tide at the moment. If Saz is saw, he 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 be he be careful. What is Skyrath going for? He double he has double staff of wizardry. Is he just like getting these value in stats? I haven't really. Yeah, ancient seal is actually um... no mystic flare is a, a something, 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 something scale to your uh, your in. I, I forgot which which one. Yeah. Okay, so interesting, but I like it if you just want to get the max damage down. And yeah, I really like the um the eggs. Oh yeah, arcane bolt. It Arc scales with your in. Okay. It it could be um Oh my god, it's, I'm totally forgetting item names at the moment, it's so fucking bad. Oh yeah, the Yules. Alright, yeah. You to set up, you know, you you Yule somebody um to disable them and then you, you follow up with um Mystic Fire. Mm. Tide going for the pipe this game, nearly has it. Yeah, um, actually if you Yules the, the Medusa med Medusa is actually going to go for the Lincoln Sphere. You can break Lincoln. the Lincoln Sphere, you use the Medusa up, Med Medusa suddenly. They're, they're only damage dealing the hero on the Master Soul Star. Star. Just gonna be some kills top. Um, okay. Oh, big, big Necro! Big Necro as the Tide bails him out. Clutch. And so clutch. He was so close to being dead there. Oh, it's free for free trade so far, but really big bailout by this Tide. And might be able to kill this um, this Ricky out as well. He hasn't got oh anything no, he can blink to. Blink. There's no way. Oh, the cloud doesn't slow him down. <laughs> big big plays by Hardy on this on this Tide Hunter, just like bailing his his Necro out enough to get a couple of frags there. And um, Medusa's still haven't caught up to to the PA by the way. They they farm, he's farming along with the PA, but they're still about. Once there were like a 3k advantage on the PA, now it's almost 4k advantage on the PA. Yeah. We see and a PA, finds that was a free. That was a f absolutely yeah. free Aegis there. Like they the win a 4 so for strong at the moment. They win a 4 for free fight and they get an Aegis, like what more can you want? I mean, I don't know, Tower Ancients, 
Yeah. Something, something like that. Something, something. It's nice. So, Ricky finds his BKB. Maybe he's like, no, nope, I can't get caught in this tie down to rolls anymore. I just want to be able to go in. So. He's, he doesn't want to, but he's forced to. Yeah, he's like forced he, to. He, he's forced to do the damage, or his team's just, just gonna get mauled down by the, by the PA physical. Necroforce is building into an Aghanims. He needs about two more Ks, two more thousand gold to go. And um, as someone in my chat said, oh, actually, he just bought yeah. it. he got it. Yeah, doesn't show his stash. And as and as Sin correctly said, he's um the Scarif has gone his Atos, so there it is. Oh, the Rod of Aoi. The Rod of Aoi. And uh. Tied 30 seconds on his Ravage, but does have his pipe. He's looking pretty dandy for himself. And PA goes for the Abyssal, so. Wants to just lock down, um. Maybe just either lock down this Ricky, lock down this Medusa, just so they can't get out of the fight. I guess. I guess considering. Lock down and just kill the Omni Knight before he can pop his Guarding Angel, it's gonna be pretty huge as well. That'd be nice as well. I was kind of thinking maybe pop, um, lock down the Medusa, because if you can't initially stun her with the Lincolns, maybe you can just deny her with the. With the abyssal and just you go stifling dagger in, and then you you blink into onto him, and then you and then you uh, abyssal him. It works well as well. Yeah, that's stifling dagger actually break just link in. And there's going to be a double damage room bottom. The GG are in, so we'll have to see who's able to pick it up. Lashrak just Bonobo just doing a nice job of spotting it out for his carry, and Medusa will find it. Just blinks in, takes the double damage though. He's so he he's going to do a lot of damage in the next fight. Just able to take some ancients. Uh, 2,000 gold on him, so looking towards his next item, it probably will be a Manta or a, or a Scaldi, but we'll have to see what he wants to go for. Might Ma be a bit too late now, but they really, really need to to give farm to this Medusa. They, they need yeah. to give her um, stacks, power is under attack. whatever. Ooh, well, um, initiation, now. initiation on this Ricky, yeah, and Stifling Dagger in, and then just the Reaper Scythe, so no Ricky for 90 seconds, can't buy back either, this should be a free tower. And I expect um, Griffa is just gonna probably force high ground. They still have the Aegis. Uh, PA. She's stacking. Ta she's tanking tower damage. Yeah. But, but her blur is like nope, nope, nope. And, that, that, that's like six blurs or seven blurs or something like that. That's ridiculous. RNGs Jesus. And she's still Aegis for two minutes. So PA is probably just gonna go in here. Um, just hitting the racks for the moment though. Yep. Nice. Jumps on this Omni, so hasn't been able to get his Guardian's Angel off. And big, big Tide Ravage there, so... Good opening for the fight. PA is just manning up. Able to kill off the... off the Lashrak. Just going going on this Medusa. Medusa has Stone Gaze, so she's all alone. Gets Skyrath altered and gets burst down by this PA. Nice crit there. Medusa so. actually already Stone Gazed, like, right when uh, the... Uh, a tie rabbit, so she couldn't be able to do any damage there. Very nice timing. PA trying to look for another kill. Might be able to kill the Medusa twice. He is. What is it? He's looking for it. Lincoln's is popped. He did. Oh no! Okay, so they don't they don't get the um they don't get the the Reaper Scythe proc on it, but Medusa's already brought back, so it's not the biggest deal. They're still going to get this lane of racks and to see if they want some more. Very hard to throw down a Sentry Ward even when there's Ricky's dead. Fuck you, Ricky. <laughs> We don't, we don't want you here. They don't want him coming back into this game, just like, nah, you can't walk here. This is forever our ground. So, top lane falls to Griffa. And, uh... Oswald of Sword Stars pops the... In. Yeah, pops the Guardian's Angels. And we see... Oswald of Sword Stars just PA getting... PA just pops oh. her, her uh, BKB, just don't go to work. Still has the Aegis though, so even if they kill him now... She's she's just gonna come back and go, must go, 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 go. Is she gonna be able to find a target out? Ty's just trying to be there for the stifling dagger target, but we'll just blink dagger out. She's all alone. No, Ty, what have you done? Um, I think she's oh. over eager there. Like usually, you you wait through the first light, then you BKB, and you come up. Yep. He, he kind of does the the opposite. Oh, he's really? going back in! He's <laughs> Musk, please! <laughs> what the hell? Uh, oh my god, that fight hurt the uh, Jesus. The Medusa so much. 
Yeah, it's supposed to buy she's back. She wants the, the second most farm. Now she's like pushed back down to like fourth. And when the tide has more farm than a Medusa, you know, it's going to be Game. sad for the Medusa. Game is hard. If we have a look Game at the buybacks, <laughs> only Ricky has a buyback for the Dire, so if they go again, won't be anything oh, there. I would, I would. Nope, Ricky just bought an item. No buybacks. Oh, okay. Rest in pepperoni. Oh. Well, well, at least, at least the last track has a buyback. Big hero. Big, big ultimates. Big ultimates, yeah. His split ult is basically a ravage if five, five players stand in the same spot. Basically a ravage. You know who's... Go Bonobo. Go Bonobo. Tired. No, 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 but Bonobo's like, you know, gonna go pick my team, so I'm gonna buy the drum, which is gonna give me movement speed. I'm gonna get in position, and I'm gonna get five man ravages. Easy. Easy. He's got a lot of... A lot of experience having played Matic for so long at the top. He knows what he's doing. I I, I believe in Bonobo, so... Lestrak is not... It's not Omni Knight, please. <laughs> if Bonobo play Omni Knight, yeah, okay. There's a heal, there's the repel, there's the Guardian Angel. There's even a mechanism on on, on this on Omni Knight. Because Bonobo is basically dirt poor. Okay, but never all eyes on the on the on the horse torment soul guy. <laughs> we see um Skyraf has picked up a gem, so I do not agree with that decision from the Medusa by the way. Oh the, like he had to you'd go damage for his team. He yeah. went for Lincoln's fear and his team is like Well, it's not all his fault, but he need to he need to hit hard. Like I, c I could understand the Lincolns if you didn't go blink first, but he just hasn't really got any damage, you're right. Like, sure, they yeah, have... that's true. Yeah. They, they, they must have, you know, said something about their, spot, their Sven not being farm at all. The Sven actually Go went for, for Blink me. Dagger as well. Just full so mobility. He, he has Blink Dagger, boots up speed, and Agony Scepter. He doesn't have anything. Like, if they want to do this, if they really want to get back in this game with these items, I think you absolutely have to just get a smoke and just go pick a fight. Like, you just got to outplay the opponent and just try and outmaneuver them, really. Like, that's what your lineup does. You've got utility items, so... Invisibility. But, um... Before one Sven crit. <laughs> well, if he pop got string, you know, his, his damage is comparable <laughs> to the PA. <laughs> It's okay, the PA has Abyssal, she has BKB, she has Morbid Mass. Well, it's okay, her damage is manageable, we can pop a God Strength, which is up every 80 seconds. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You get out of here, Medusa, we don't even want you. Rip Medusa. Is, looks like he's going for the, um, could be a, well, it's probably going to be a Scardi, given he's not going for the Yasha, so. But we'll have to see what he wants to go for here. Um, yeah. How He's long gonna till the next day? How long till the next Aegis? How do you read this? It's a, is that one minute or is that that's one minute, right? On this on this Aegis timer? No, that's around two to three minutes. Okay. Uh, one minute. No, you're right. Around uh, one and a half. It's okay. weird. This clock is like so weird. For some reason, I thought it was like three bars. Tide Hazard is a refresher here, so he's just going to blink in, look, looking for this initiation. Hasn't popped his Ravage yet, though. Guardian's Angel comes out. BKB also on this Ricky. Now. Yeah, it's like... Okay. Oh, no, he's going to die! Oh, my God. Okay, I think that's a mistake. No, but there, the Medusa comes in, just manning up. Has his BKB pop. Oh, sorry. No, that's just the PA. My bad. Um, um, PA just manning up. But PA. PA's going to work. Oh, my God. Run away! Run! Oh, the big crit's coming out. Trying to kill this Medusa. We have another stifling dagger, should be able to get him. But he's doing the smoke screen, so he can't get out. And but PA's gonna die, he doesn't have an Aegis or anything. I am pretty sure he's gonna die. No! This man's up on the Omni just before he dies, so. Still not a great trade. Four for two trade so far, but they look like they're also gonna kill the Scarf as well. So five for two trade, and they don't get any any of the base. So good good defense by the Oswaltus All Stars. Stone Gaze was popped there. I, I didn't quite track the Medusa well enough in that fight, but Getting quite close to his Guardian, he's going to start to do some damage, but still a way off. Going to start to do damage. Start to do damage, but they hold, they hold die, so, you know. It's, it it's actually wasn't, it's not good enough. 
Yeah. Like Med Med Medusa had to be in experience range. She had to be in in gold in gold range. She was in neither. She she managed to get another ultimate or but you no know, she she needed I, I would say she needs around more five K. Just just to you know, just to to stop people from from running over his team. Like PA one PA BKB, what you gonna do? Although um PA BKB is now down to eight seconds. And when she's down to five seconds, she can uh, be a little bit more manageable. But still, you know. You, you you need to you need to help your team. You can't just she she basically ran away with with full mana during that fight. It's not it's not ideal at all. Yeah. And you know, having not played it safe, Griffa gave up the Aegis that they probably could have quite easily taken. And um, at this point, it's more of like um, it's more more of them denying the Aegis to the PA. Yeah. If the PA gets Aegis, it's absolutely game over. You can't. You you just can't. Yeah. Um, Ty Hunter just blinking, blinking Ravage twice, even one one target doesn't matter. Just try to kill the Omni Knight or kill the the Medusa. First, uh, first Ravage. That's that's completely fine. You reset. You go in after the tide dies. You know, PA can just keep going on and on. Everybody and, and that Aegis would definitely mean that. Oh, if they get if they get this crow, it's going to be a big death. Are they able to get him? No, nope. crow crow's just able to get out, and that sh <laughs> should that <laughs> should be the Scotty. This is going to be the Scotty. You repel the crow. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. No, PA, please, no jumping on the courier. Oh, well, Xe is throwing. Please. Well, apparently he hated the creep or the ground so much. You know he. Two, two, two people stunned there. From yeah. Euro. And like, it's got to be said, the last major mistake from Griffer in that last fight was really not getting any ravages off. So. Even with the Aegis on Ricky, I, I do think they can force this, and so do they. Look, there's two sentry wards, one for each eye. Ping him, ping him. Oh, there they are, yes. And Ty's just walking up, managed to get his first Ravage off. No BKB's popped yet. Oh, is able to get his second Ravage off, but we do see the Guardian's Angel come out, did we? No, no we didn't. Omni didn't get it off, and just, Ricky's just trying to man up here. Um, Ricky versus PA, gee, who is going to win? P okay, PA takes down Medusa, D has no, um, Medusa has no buyback, so this is looking very hard, but Ricky's up again, PA just, just critting down this dire team. We'll be able to find the Ricky maybe in soon, but no, they're just going to hit the racks, they're fine with this. That's the power of the, of the double ravage. Look, when Medusa just some goes, you, you just go in. You, you trade, you, you trade a, a ravage for her stone gaze, and then the second ravage can be on his team or whatever. That's gonna be a third line of racks there, or potentially a throne. Like if if the Medusa stay alive during that fight, it's like yeah, maybe they have a chance. Medusa completed her as Scotty. Ricky's trying to do something here, but <laughs> he might just die. Oh, Ricky gets Reaper Scythed, so no Ricky buyback and dead for 100 seconds, so looking very hard for him. Omni Old is popped though, and they're going to try and man up on this on this Necro and Tide. Oh, by the way, there's, a, there's, a, there's also a PA in this game. Yes, there is a PA in this game. He's critting down the mans. Oh, oh, body block, body block. Oh. Omni, 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 what are you doing? Oh, look at these crits. See ya, Omni. And, um... I that game is super cool. Actually, you look at that, you see all those kills on the ground. It's like, th there once, there was a hero at the first <laughs> location. Now they're just like, they're there. And we see... And that, that'll that be Mega Preets. And we just see PA, 24k on the net worth, with Medusa at 15k. Medusa can take care of Mega Creeps, it's okay. 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 And um, that's gonna be GG. GG's called, so Griffith's- Oh my god, all the crits are stolen! Oh! And uh, sadly for Medusa. She might- She might- No, oh, rip Medusa, just PA getting the nice crits down, but... GG is called, and Griffith's got the clap, we'll take this game, so... Group A goes, actually goes 1-1-1 to uh, Haystack 
I forgot the clap, and also for Soul Stars. So we'll have to look at the time ratings f to see who actually goes into the winner's bracket, who gets into the loser's, and who's eliminated. So I actually can't tell you who's coming out of this in favour, but really close games in general, except for, well, PA. Like, I'd, I'd say the game we didn't get to cast, the Ellsworth Fortress Soul, sorry, the Griff got the clap versus the Haystack was really close, but both of these were kind of stomps, unfortunately, with Musk on his PA just going 21 and 5, just having a huge performance. Um, look, was looking towards this Satanic as well, just later in that. Tide had a couple of questionable fights, but when he got his when he got his big two alts in, it really was clear who was the victors and who would be I your main match? Twenty twenty, but you know. Um, yeah. Oh, you talking about MVP? Yeah, who would be your MVP and like any thoughts in the game? Well, PA played very very well. Yeah, he so really he, did. He definitely can't deny that. Um, but there were a couple of miss ulti opportunities by the Omni Knight, but you know Omni Knight tried to hang on as best he could. But just lack damage, really. Yeah. Uh, Ty Hunter took the beating quite a, for quite a while too. Yeah, well, and the support play, the support from uh, Griffer got gre uh, <laughs> Griffer got the, gr the the clap. Um, they were very poor. They they, they play they play quite well considering what they have. You know, yeah. at the en at the end of the the fight, you see Griffer with the boots of travel and the observer wards and a magic wand. <laughs> <laughs> and XA actually managed to build out Rod of Atos, um, which is, uh, he's, they're, they're still very, very poor. But it almost doesn't matter because the PA has so much damage. Um, has that 2020, but I don't, I don't think all special soul stars should, should just keep throwing bodies at the, the bottom tower, though. Like, the, the, um, they had, they had to realize that, you know, that it's lost. And instead of throwing more bodies and feeding the PA, the PA were like, I definitely, did. she was on top of the farm for the entire game, there's no question. From, from the laning stage to the early game to the mid to the late game, the, the, when there's a skirmish, the PA just manages to stay out of fight or just be in the thick of it and just kill everything and receive the, every goal, you know, for, for her support kills. Yeah, definitely play very well by the PA. Yeah. Well. Thanks for watching guys, um, we'll update you who's actually coming out of the head of the groups when we do the calculations for the time rating, but um, for the moment this will be it from Di and I. Um, any last words? Rest in pepperoni. Rest in pepperoni. Alright, catch you later guys. Like lady doesn't carry hard enough. <laughs>